Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the top 5 programming language that you should be looking up to learn in 2017. Now these languages are not just randomly being picked up, these are picked up with very precision that what is the popularity right now in the market, what kind of project going on in the market, what kind of jobs are being posted as well as the amount of money that you can earn with these languages. So with this super awesome video, let's get started about top 5 programming language that you should be learning in 2017. In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps and everything related to technology in here. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now let's come back on to the topic and discuss about the top 5 programming language that you should be looking up to learn. Now I have focused quite a lot on the beginners because I think a lot of beginners might be watching this video and they might be a little bit confused about where they can go up. So starting with number 5, let's get started with our list and at number 5 I have placed PHP. Now you might be wondering and a lot of you might be judging my uh, scenario or pick up things that why you have picked up the PHP. Since there are a lot of new advanced technologies like Angular 2, Node.js and in fact I work on them quite a lot but still I would say learning PHP is a great idea. Now why? I would tell you that. Now I work quite a lot on websites like Freelancer, Upwork and some client based project as well. Now many times I face this difficulty that client wants an e-commerce website within a thousand dollars. Now designing an entire website in any framework like Node.js or Angular is not at all possible within, within the thousand dollar range and of course client need that website within three days or four days. It's not at all possible. So obvious choice would be to go into some framework like WordPress which is of course being backend by the PHP. So what all I have to do is install WordPress and add some plugins and of course if I know PHP I can customize those plugins and can deliver the product to the client. Now a lot of web companies are there who are completely reliable on these kinds of project based websites like freelancers and Upwork and all they are looking up is the person who knows PHP quite well. Now once you understand the PHP then it's quite easy to jump around on other frameworks uh, like WordPress or Magento or others as well. So still I would say and you all know that WordPress is actually a big part of the internet which is being governed by the WordPress. So of course if that much part is being overtaken by the WordPress people need developers who can code in WordPress and can code in basically in PHP. I would say you can earn quite a lot of money and it's pretty easy to pick up because it's a web based language. And of course the prerequisites are you should be aware of HTML and CSS and then you can jump on the PHP. Now coming up on to the list number 4, I have placed Java in here. Now I personally have, I don't have much of the love towards the Java but still it doesn't mean I don't like the language, it's not popular. It's the most popular language around in here. Now why the one of the main reason why Java is so much popular is because of Android development. Now Android development is pretty fairly cheap. You only need $30 for a lifetime access license and you can publish n number of apps on there. In case you want to get started with Android development there is no other way you have to get started with Java. Now not only the Android a lot of web apps can be designed in the Java still a lot of companies are relying on their backend services for Java as well. So with Java you cannot go wrong. But again I would say the learning curve is quite a lot with the Java and one thing that I personally don't like about the Java is you have to write a ton of code. Whenever you declare a class or maybe declare a variable there is a lot of code that you have to write and that is the reason I don't like it. But with a good editor you can actually automate those stuff and I would say if you are getting started with Java there is a good chances that you can pick up on other languages as well. You will always feel that all other languages are pretty much easy because I know Java. So that's why I would say on the list number 4 our uh, Java is being placed. On list number 3 I would put Swift here. No objective C. Of course Swift. Swift is the market demand in here and I would say if you are getting started with the Swift you are making a very good move. Now Swift is not at all that much mature language but don't uh, let me judge you uh, about uh, that it is not a mature language. It is being backend by the Apple and right now all the apps that you are using in your iPads, in your iPhone or maybe your TV apps are actually being run at the backend by the Swift. 
Now, as the day progress, a uh, language is pretty new. There is no such uh, person who can say, I have 10 years of experience in Swift. No, it, he cannot say that because language is pretty new. It's the perfect time to get started in Swift. Now, in case you are looking up to get started for the Swift, and of course you are planning to make some iOS apps, I have a killer online course, check out in the description. I'll link it below with a special coupon code and you will love this. We'll make a lot of apps and you will love the syntax of the Swift. Now, one good reason I like about the Swift is somehow it is very much inspired by Python. No semicolons, a very compact code, uh, much more meaningful, precise code that you have to write. That is why I would put on my list number three is Swift. At position number two, I would say Python. And I would say that Python is just making a comeback in here. Now, in the last couple of years, Python was getting a drawback. Of course, a lot of fans were there of Django, Flask, and uh, other things like uh, making scripts for pen testing or ethical hacking. They like to code in Python, but Python was somehow lagging behind. But of course, uh, with the recent enhancement in machine learning, uh, data science, and uh, the AI, the artificial intelligence, Python has picked up the things and Python is in the game. And I would say right now it's currently the most popular language and it was a very tough choice for me to judge uh, between, uh, between position number one and position number two. So I would say at position two goes to Python. Now in case you are getting started with Python, you might be a little bit confused that I should get started with Python 2 or maybe Python 3. No confusion at all, get started with Python 3. Python 2 is now completely outdated. Yes, you might say that, hey, there are a couple of libraries that are not yet developed in Python 3 and I might want to go there. Don't worry, there is a complete workaround for that library. I will pretty assure you that. I code quite a lot in Python and I would say go get started with Python 3. In case you want to get started, I again have a killer online course for Python 3. I'll link down that in the description below and you can obviously jump into that. Of course, that, car, that course comes up with a 30 days money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, you can always get a refund there. And I would say if your plan are something related to artificial intelligence or the new hot topic is machine learning, then of, of course, uh, there is no get around. You need to get started with Python. By the way, onto a sidebar, I would say a machine learning can also be done in R language, but I would say with the R, you will be very specific, very confined because it's not that much popular around here. I would say go ahead and get started with Python. That would be a much better choice. Now on to the list number one. Again, uh, this is no surprise at all. I'll place JavaScript in here, not just the JavaScript, the latest syntax, including ES6. So JavaScript is the most hot topic around in here. Now, as soon as the JavaScript got involved in the backend technology like Node.js, uh, it has just revolutionized everything. Now imagine one language for everything. That is why I have kept it on the place number one. Like you write your uh, front end of the website in JavaScript, you write your back end in the JavaScript. And in case you are aware with the technologies like Angular 2 or maybe React Native or React JS, you just write one language to interact with the database, to interact with the front end, to produce iOS native apps, to produce Android native apps. What else you can demand from this language? JavaScript is doing a lot what it was originally being designed for. So I would say if you want to get started and you are looking around that, hey, uh, what would be your choice if you want to just get started? I would say you cannot go wrong with JavaScript. And I would also say in here that if you want to get started with JS, don't just stuck with JS syntax in here because now the technology is quite frankly switching to ES6 version, which is just the latest version and latest syntax of JavaScript. So go ahead, learn that too. Now, a lot of people will say, hey, uh, ES6 is going on, JavaScript is going on, but what are your views about TypeScript? Now, again, I would say if you're com comfortable with JavaScript, TypeScript is just a superset of JavaScript. So entirely JavaScript and this is your TypeScript. So some new features are being added to the JavaScript and there you go, you have got your TypeScript. So I would say JavaScript, no matter what you do, you can switch on to React, you can switch to Angular, you can switch to Node.js, you can switch to Backbone.js, just infinite names are there. So these are my top five lists. 
about getting started in programming and I have give you some little bit ideas where you can switch on to the technologies, where you can look up for the jobs and what kind of products you will be making up with each particular language. Now let me know in the comment section below if you agree with the list or you have some other list going on around in your mind. I would definitely like to discuss it with you. Now in case you like this video, give it a thumbs up and in case you think that this video can be helpful for someone, make sure you share it around and I'll catch you up in the next video.